folks, Kenny the Vapid Heat back again with another review for you. Today we are looking at an Addy, namely the Bulk. Mm. Yeah, this is by Umnir and an American dealer called the Vapid Fagan. So, we'll get down, have a look at it, show the ins and outs, all the the build and everything but before that please please hit that subscribe button like share even leave a comment much appreciated so without further ado we'll roll the b-roll yeah Right folks, here we are down at the table with the bulk RTA from Umi and the Vape and Fagan on the box. I like this bit. They've actually put some recognition of the designer on the box. Don't say that a lot. Um, you know, nice big, you know, bit of a signage there for the, for the guy who designed it. Got Bulgar to you there, you've got your scratch and sniff authenticity, Umia there on the back, you have your normal components, etc. Turn around on the front, you've got Bulgar to you. So if we open the box up, put that down there, what you're presented with is the tank, which is a bit of a, a funny on to get it actually. Comes in two parts, that's your top pit with your cone. That's your deck. You get a spare frosted drip tip. Now I think this one is, it's not as wide as, as that one. And I think it is a bit taller. So slightly spare frosted. And you get your spare glass. I think this one holds three and a half mil. And I think the bubble glass holds four and a half. Four and a half mil. Yeah, I think that's right. Underneath the box you get some um, shoelace cotton you get your bag of spares which i believe they are a pair of tri fuse clappings o-rings grub screws allen key and here you have the infamous destruction manual um, basically it tells you what's what really what to do it does have a couple of specs in there i don't know if you can see that go that way hang on focus in it's like 39.7 millimeters tall without the 510 pin and without the 10 adapter but you add another 7.7 .7 mil for the adapter and it's 28 millimeters wide and again it's just basically instructions how to build etc and all that stuff on it all that good stuff so what i'll do when i do the build i'll use this because it came with it and i'll use the coils because they came with it but we can stick it all out the way for the time being if you bear with me one moment and we'll have a look at the star of the show basically i'll put it together first so we can see where we are so at the top 
you do have your tin drip very wide bore this one does come out o-ring is inside on the device so you can change them but i've heard some people say that it does get a little bit loose after it's uh, getting a bit of juice on it so bear that one in mind when you put your other drip tips in fill it up unscrew the top there's a nice nail there to grip it underneath there you've got an o-ring on there got two big kidney holes there to fill it up pop that back on then you have your bubble glass your chimney with bulk on only thing that's on it not much on the bottom you do have the bulk your ca mark your bin mark by umi and vape and fagan gold plated 510 pin to get your deck oh sorry deck i'm jumping ahead of it here you've got three airflow slots one two and three so whatever you do to one you do to them all um so now we'll undo this bottom the chimney there is nice nice and clean threads look clean nice bit of doming in there so hopefully that'll help with flavor and here we are the deck um if you bear with us, I'll just get a pointy thing. Some of the pointed with. Yeah, what we'll point it with? We'll point it with we'll point it with pointed pointy 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 thing. There we go. Right. So if I kind of like I'll zoom in a bit for you. You can see what we're doing here. There we're gone. I think you had an idea which had a similar type of deck, so I don't think it's anything new and groundbreaking, but you've got massive massive air holes here 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 and here so basically that your coil is going to sit over the top of there over the top of there grub screws here and here basically undo them drop your coil in there and the legs pop out there so you don't have to pre-trim them you just pop them there and they can trim off there easy peasy but the airflow is huge um here is your, your cutouts for your juice wells or where you pop your wicks like that and then if you notice whoops it's got like a plate here and this this kind of guides you over with your cotton because when you when you when you wick it you don't want it coming down here you just want a tiny bit hanging about there you know you don't want it hanging down the deck you don't want to stuff it down so it's a bit like the old classic damning method you know what what most of these um decks kind of do now you know so the machine's pretty good threads are nice and smooth but there's not much else to say about it. people just put your coil in there and bob's your uncle so we'll do we'll throw a build on i'll like i said i'll use the um the coils that came with it and i'll stick it on hang on bear with me i shall stick it on what have i got handy oh before i carry on I think this reminds me of another tank by another reviewer and I just so happen to have it here well it's big brother these are pretty much identical in shape except this is the smaller version so I just thought I'd point that one out I think it does look or it does remind me of this fella the FP uh, you know, Mark the Vaping Postman. Well, same shape type of thing, isn't it? <laughs> I just thought I'd point that one out. Anyway, where were we? We're going to sort of build it, weren't we? So I'll get this fella off. I'll drop this on this air. Uh... It's, it's off. <laughs> I'll drop him on there for now. I will get um, the two coils out the bag which were in the spares bag, I will use them, seeing it came with them, so there's no harm in checking them out. Again, these manufacturers, they never, I hate it when they don't tell you what the actual coil is made of, materials, etc. You know, they just sound well, it's, 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 it's such and such. But yeah, it's always saying it's a such and such and such, but what the fuck's it made from, you know what I mean? Especially the guys who do the, you know, the temp control, the one now the material, you know what I mean? 
Um, we'll get some of this cotton ready now. Get all, get all this stuff prepared if I can get the bloody thing open. There we go. Pull them out. Stick them to the side ready. So, what we've got here. We have got these coils. Like I say, they're a three millimeter diameter internal. You can see them very well. Proper clappings. But yeah, I hate it when people, the companies, didn't name that kind of, you know, what the materials are. So basically, we'll bat these out. Like so. Got them all backed out. Let's see how really easy these things are. This it is quite an easy deck to build on. Um, I mean, you know, just plonk them in and nip them up. Really, you know, I would leave a little bit of a room when you pour it in, um, just for the. You got to get over the hair hose. By the way, before I go on, you can see there, your positive block goes over like that. There's like a. An insulator in between there's an insulator in between there so that'll be a positive that'll be a positive so like you see you can get your coils on you could put a single in but a it would have to be bloody huge and b i just don't think you would get the flavor like so you just pop them in like so hang on i'm going to do the bloody air holes there <laughs> pop them in there like so so you just give yourself a little bit of Leeway on them. Sorry, my hands is in the way. Just give yourself a little bit of leeway so you can uh, you can get your oh god, make the eat bulls look at this, aren't they? So you can um, position them, I should say, over the air holes. I've kind of pulled these screws with too far, oh, really, and I'm just uh, gonna give them a nip. Get them straightened up type of thing. Somewhere near the middle. I'm over the top of them air holes. Doesn't look too bad. We'll give it a final final nip, I believe. There we go, that one's down nice. That one's down nice. You see, just bend them up in the right of cut, you know what I mean? That's one. Okay, we'll get this little fella here. Push one and maybe put a bend in it so we can get them in easier. I'm just going to shimmy them through there with my fingers. Get in there, you little bugger. Get me a little Colby thing on just to go somewhere where I need it. Like maybe like that. And then it's bloody here is absolute shit. There you go, and then just again oh, I got just tend to give them a nip to get them in position first. Oh god, this I see just straighten it out and that get over the hole, all that kind of stuff. I'm sitting over the air hole. Obviously, you don't want them touching the middle because that could cause you problems. But yeah, they're not too far away, are they? Sitting right over the top of them air holes. <laughs> so we'll just give them a final nip. That's that one done. <laughs> That one done. That one done. Oh, damn. Again, okay, just bend them up a bit. Get your trusty snips. And basically just snip them off like so. Easy as pie. Try and get them in nice and close legs. I think I've done one tank. I didn't 
trim them short enough and I nearly bloody earth them on the chimney. <laughs> you can get in nice and close. I want to do with a bit more. See what I mean? You've got to get in close. Otherwise, you know, they'll, they'll just snap up. I think that's okay. There you go, that's them trimmed up. And now, what we'll do, we'll give them a little bit of a a bony in. If you just bear with us, I'll just get rid of these little off cuts because they're. We'll just give it another tidy up. They're not looking too bad. Smack bang above the airflow. So what we'll do, we'll bed these in, I think. Not at 90 watts, obviously. <laughs> We'll drop it up, not that too either. We'll drop it up to about know, 40 watts or so. Oh, wait, come on, where you going? At about 40 watts then, we'll just bed them in a bit, I think. Let's give them little pulses. A little strum. They're pretty good little hot spot there. And they're pretty much it folks. So <sighs> wicking these bad boys. Well with this, with these laces they look far too much anyway, so I'm just gonna cut one and off. Uh, it's simple as that because I don't think you need much wick in this anyway. Just cut one and off. Yeah well cool down there now. Here you whack your shoelace through. Christ almighty. They're really tight on there. That's not good is it? Shoelace doesn't even fit through the friggin coil? Really? Well, that one did. Pull that through and just rock it back and forward so we can get sorted out. Try this one on the other side. I think the plastic's a bit cut. I mean, it wasn't hot, it wasn't hot enough to melt it, so. Yeah. No, yeah, not having it with that one, so bollocks, I'll get another one. Hmm, I don't know what was going on with that one. There you have it. Roughly there and there. I'll cut him off there, roughly. There. Cut him off there, roughly there. Cut him off roughly there. Right, it's all that sorted. So, to wick these, you just want it so it's poking under there. Right, so I kind of like gant the threads and I'll squash it down. So I would see you want to come in a bit. See how I've gant the edge of that rubber. Don't need to be long. Just even them out a bit. I think there's still a fair bit there, so I'm just gonna sorry I'm rubbing off camera there. I'm just gonna comb them out a bit. Just a little bit, get rid of some of the the excess on it. Same on the other side, comb a little bit out. Not much. Now, if you bear with us, I'll get some juice for this bad boy. What we've got. <laughs> Sorry about that. Unprepared again as usual. Just get some juice. For the purpose of this review, I'm going to use some cherry cake 
Dodgers by Buddha Vapes. Give this a bit of a soak, eh? Put on the coils first. And soak your wick. Nice and soaked up. That's what you want. I've made a bit of a mess, but so what? I was hoping I can get these bad buggers in there because they are looking rather big, but we can only but try. Basically, just looking at just took it all in there, just in that little juice well. Just a bit like the whole classic dam method, really. Just want to. Dangling under them threads just a bit, like so. Obviously, make sure you just clear off the them threads. See with this side, just tuck it down there. You can't like push it back, and then just let it pull itself in. It just says a little bit dangling under them threads. That's probably all you need. Again, it's the old air. Uh, what they call the old damming method again, people. Just get it tucked in, pressed in nicely. And that is probably what you're looking at. Just give them a quick fire up just to bed the juice in there. So, now put this fella back on here. Like I say, just give him a little bit of a, a twist. A little bit of a twist. And obviously you want to catch your threads. There you go. Threads are caught. Like I say, just give it a nip. Don't crank them down like some people do. And then we'll just uh, fill this fella up. See, there's your kidney holes. Just dump. Just dump it in. And we really are just dumping that in. It takes a quite a little bit of juice, this fella. There you go. There's juiced. Put your top cap back on. Again, just nip these things on, people. So there you have it, boys and girls. The bulk RTA. All coiled, wicked, and ready to go. So I'll get cleared up on down here, people. We'll go back up top, and I shall give you my thoughts. See you in a bit. Right folks, here we are back up top looking at the bulk RTA. And yes, it is a big one. 28 millimeter bottom. So I think you're gonna need a mod that'll accommodate this. But anyway, the colours I put in on the build are coming out of 0 0.12, 0 0.13-ish. Um I've got 85 watts, airflow fully open, and I have also got my we run a vape stuff in the old uh, cherry was it the the cherry cake dodgers which I am thoroughly enjoying. So let's give this thing a two there. Pardon me. Look at that. Jesus. The clothes this thing chucks us. <coughs> Phenomenal, Jesus Christ. Wow. Holy shit. <laughs> really? <coughs> fucking that much cloud, I can't fucking actually breathe it out still while I'm talking. Bloody hell. That's phenomenal. Um, so, yeah. What do I think of this thing? For well, the size of it, you'd think it's just a big cloud sugar. Well, you'd be wrong. Because the flavour of this is absolutely banging. Absolutely banging. It's up there. Um, the cons with it, I would say, there isn't really any. Um, I would say the mouthpiece may be a bit big for some people. Um, you know, that must be about, what, 20 mil? 
So we've only got a little mouth, you know, might be easier to put the smaller one on. Um, and this top o-ring, you see this black top o-ring, right? When you want to take your tank apart to clean it, it's fucking tight, really tight. Um, be very careful because you can break your glass trying to get that off. Um, it is a con, but it's a pro as well because obviously it stops any air. You know, it's a nice tight fit, so there's no chance of any air leaks on the tank. But getting the parts is a bit of a pain. Um, so yeah, just the the O ring, the mouthpiece, obviously. But you'll know this when you buy it. The size, you know, it's getting a mod to accommodate it. Um, this is sitting on the Ages Ages Legend, so this is a mainstream mod. And as you can see, that's sitting on there, just lovely. So. You know, it is possible to get a mod without breaking the bank uh, to accommodate this tank, but you know, the usual loaf you're looking to it before you buy it, you know, because it's 28 milli at the bottom, so it's a big tank. Flavour and airflow, fab. The airflow on this is, is, is restricted, it's quite restrictive actually for a big tank. You think with all them three air force slots and then big air holes under the coils. You know, it'd be like an aqua lung, you know, but it's, it's not. I think the way we designed it, the airflow, even though there's lots of air going in, it does get restricted on the deck. So it's not banging, you know, it's not, it's just a nice restriction, but not, you know, too much. But my God. Like with most big dual coil of tanks, you think, well, yeah, you know, it's going to lose flavour, you know. The way this one's been designed, <laughs> no, the flavour's absolutely phenomenal on it. Absolutely phenomenal. Flavour and clouds. Jesus, man, what a combo. You kind of got wrong. That's what you do. Um, up to date, <clears throat> this year, I would say this is probably one of the best RT years I've, I've, I've vaped on. Um, but on the other side of the coin, as I showed you in the the cam footage, mine is of the FP, and it performs similarly as well. Um, I just think it's the FP's little brother. You know what I mean? It's 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 very similar to the FP, which we all know was by the Postman, a UK reviewer, because this was obviously a larger version. But the shape and everything is very similar to the FP, um, and this is it does. It's very similar to it, but. Just in a smaller version, but he, I'm not taking anything away from being he hasn't, you know, copied it or, or, or vice versa. Nobody's copied anybody's designs. I think it's just maybe the shape and the way it vapes. It does remind us of the FP a bit, but um, I would recommend it all day. It's absolutely mint. The flavour's banging on it. The clouds, Jesus, the clouds are chuck is unbelievable, um, and it is absolutely at a reasonable price as well. I mean, obviously, use your Google, go around, have a search, um, see what you can get it for. But I think it's, it's, it's average for probably 25 quid in the UK, which I think is a pretty good price. 28 million RTA for 25 quid. Kind of gone wrong. You pay that for 25s. So, you know, without turning this into, boom, without turning this into a gush fest, I'm going to leave this at that. Like, um, when I will still use this at the moment, it's my go-to tank. Um, I pick it up, you know, every time, um, especially out and about with the capacity. It does like to plough through the juice, I must say, mind you. Fuck it, ploughs through the juice. But um, bar that, crap little tank, definitely recommend it. Little, big tank, <laughs> definitely recommend it. So without further ado, I'll wrap this one up. I've been Kenny the Vaping Head, the Vaping Head. <laughs> Well, it's my, my words are dear. I've been Kenny the Babe and Heed. Stay safe, be safe. I shall see you all in the next one. Cheers. Bye now.